Last year with our domestic violence campaign, it went on exceptionally well. The boys embraced it, the club embraced it, and the spectators. And we've got documentary proof through our Inverell Police Patrol, where the Inverell area was number 17 in the state. It's now blown out to a 10 point margin, we're number 27. So those figures do attest to the success of the campaign. Our boys, uh, with our players, they sign our agreement uh, along with the minister. If they breach, we automatically, for a minor breach, one week suspension. Anything major, it's three weeks. If there's a second offence whatsoever, the whole season, that player has to stand down. But the boys, good credit to them, and the girls with the league tag, they're doing an exceptional job, and we thank the minister for making this available, the domestic violence campaign. Like it does when you're whining, it's not just about you'll be so better off. Just give me the word and I'll be knocking him off. But you've got to break the habit since you've got to be strong. Cause he's never gonna this year, very privileged to have the boomerangs on board. We had a co launching with our minister, Linda Burney, our local uh, MP, Speaker of the House, Richard Torbay, our mayors. We had a beautiful launch here, and the boomerangs, Tinga, were very. Uh, fortunate on the day, we won that match, but it was an exceptional campaign and we're very, very pleased with the boomies coming in. We do have three workshops during the year. The girls come up from, uh, Dixie comes up from Sydney, along with our ambassador, Nathan Blacklock. He started off here in 2008. Uh, long last year we had Larry Corowa. But this year, Nathan is our ambassador for the Boomerangs and for the Tigers. Even though he is uh, down in the Hunter District, he regularly comes back, conducts our workshop. But the girls are the main instigators of our workshops. And uh, Dixie does a marvellous job. And uh, talking to, to our footballers, well, she's exceptional. <laughs> During the 2009 uh, season when we took on the domestic violence campaign, we only had around about 58 players registered. This year, I'm very proud to announce that we've got 108 footballers. They've come out of the woodwork everywhere, and I do attribute it to this campaign because the boys are really taking it to heart. They're very enthusiastic about it. And last year it was a good omen. We won the grand final against Gaira, which is a grand final rematch here today. This year, Gaira and Tinga are actually co-leaders uh, by four points in the Group 9 competition. So, best of luck. I hope it's a good omen again. It's all up to you. It's time to end this.